Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Coco. Welcome to 30 Minute Beginner Slide Class. Today's class is going to be all on the board. Hopefully you've taken our intro to slide class so you have an idea of our fundamental slides, but I will of course be going over them. So make sure you have your board, booties, towel, and water. We're going to warm up off the board to start. So feet are right underneath your hips. With a straight leg, kick up a leg gently to your opposite toe. Good. So nice and easy. You don't want to kick it up too fast or hard. Just as where your hamstring allows you. So we're firing up back of our legs here, a little bit of our core. Good, one more. Beautiful. Alternating knee hugs here. So you're gonna hug your knee into your chest, take a second, and then foot back down. So a little bit of a balance here. So again, hamstring warming up right here, hugging our knee in. One more each side. Good. Nice job, all right. Feet underneath your hips, inhale, bring your hands up overhead. Exhale, fold over, walk out into your high plank. Good, so right here, our wrists are right underneath our shoulders. Step your right foot outside your right hand. If you need to, drop your back knee, untuck your toe. Otherwise, try to keep that foot up. You're gonna inhale, bring your right hand up. And exhale, hand comes back down. Pivoting off our back foot, we're gonna take some nice big hip circles. So opening up our right hip. Good, one more, and then change direction. Again, pivoting off our back foot. If you need to, you're on your knee, smaller circles. Nice job, right foot back, left foot outside your left hand. Again, if you need to, that back knee can drop. Inhale, bring your left hand up, and exhale back down, hip circles this side. Again, if you're on your knee, you're just gonna take a little bit smaller of circles. Otherwise, you can get a little bit bigger. And then change direction here. Beautiful, step your left foot back, walk your hands in towards your toes, slowly roll up, right into jumping jacks here, 20 seconds. If you need to take the impact out, just take it to a side step. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, sit down, put your booties on. So we got two parts to class. Our first part is a 10 minute round. Like I said, everything's gonna be on the board. Lots of sliding. So once your booties are on, carefully step onto your board. We're gonna start with 30 seconds of tall slides right here. So feet start together, pick up your inner foot. You push off of the bumper with your outer foot. So a little bend in your knees here, hands on your hips. Good, so getting used to the board here. So in my classes, I like to use the rate of perceived exertion, the RPE, that's what I call it. It's a scale of one to 10. 10 is your all out max effort. One is your sitting down. So right now I want you at that five out of 10. Nice and easy, you shouldn't be out of breath, you shouldn't be gassing, going all out right now. Good, we're gonna add in a lateral lunge here. So when you get to a bumper, lateral lunge, press up, tall slide across, good. So only one leg is bending. The leg next to the bumper, you're leaning into that hip, pressing up to your heel, sliding across. Good. So work on opening up your hips here, warming up our adductors, our inner thighs. Good, skater slides in three, two, and one. Hands on your lower back, bend your knees nice and low, sliding across. So feet touch at either end. Again, we're staying at that five out of 10. This is a slide class, it's 30 minutes, so it's a longer class. So I want you to think of it more as like a marathon, not a sprint, right? So pace yourself. You wanna be able to get to the end and really give your all out for when we do finally sprint. Good, tall slides, three, two, and one back up, tall slides. Good. So hands can be on your hips. They can move with you side to side. Use this chance to catch your breath if you need to. Five seconds, sprinter slides. Just like our skater slides, this time we're adding in our arms. Even though it's called a sprinter, we're not sprinting. Here we go, three, two, and one. Nice and low, use your arms here, side to side. 30 seconds. Again, same tempo. 
Nice and easy. So think about weight in your heels, using your arms, shoulders, back, chest open. 15 seconds. Side to side. Five, four, three, two, and one back up to tall sides here, 15 seconds. So if you need to, take a second, catch your breath, reset. We're gonna add in our lateral lunges again here in three, two, and one. Add that in each side. Slide across and lateral lunge. So when you rise up from that lunge, you're pressing up through the heel of the working leg. So right now I'm pressing up through my right heel and across. Here we go, skater slides. Three, two, and one. Hands on our lower back. We're staying at that five out of 10. So again, chest is open. Weight is all the way in your heels. Using your core to steady yourself. Looking good. Sprinter slides. Three, two, and one. Again, five out of 10. We're not sprinting. Same tempo. If your lower back is feeling really tired, take a few tall slides and then come down right low into it. Good. Glutes should be firing up here. 10 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, make your way into a high plank. So hands can be on the bumper or right in front of the bumper off the board. Make sure your wrists are right underneath your shoulders and step back into a high plank. We're just gonna hold here for 30 seconds. So this might feel a lot harder than off the board, right? Because we're on this slick surface, it's unstable. So our core is working extra hard to steady ourselves. If you need to, drop your knees. Untuck your toes. Good. Three, two, and one. Good. Shake it out here. Elbow plank. Same thing. We're just going to hold it. So forearms off the board. Elbows right underneath your shoulders. Pressing back, holding here. Beautiful. So again, if you need to, you can always drop your knees. Untuck your toes. We're on this board, right? So unstable. Our core is working extra hard. All those stabilizing muscles. We're standing up for tall sides in three, two, and one. Stand up right away, tall sides here. 30 seconds. Good, so again, think about your form here. You're picking up your inner foot, pushing off of the bumper with your outer foot. We're gonna add in our lateral lunges again in three, two, one. Lateral lunge, tall slide across the board. Good. Get nice and low. Again, you're pressing up through the heel of the working leg. Toes are pointing forward. They're staying in line with each other. Skater slides in five, four, three, two, and one, here we go, get nice and low, hands on your lower back. We're still at that five out of 10. So if that means your five out of 10 is a little bit faster than me, it's a little bit slower than me, that's totally fine. Find what is your personal five out of 10 level and meet me right there. Good, sprinter slides, five, four, three, two, one, we're just gonna add in the arms. Tempo stays the same. So we're really working on our endurance here right now. We're doing a full minute in this low position. So keep that tempo nice and even. Focus on your form. Arms are helping you move. Nice job. Back into a high plank in 10. Five, four, Three, two, and one, high plank. So again, hands can be on the bumper or off. Make sure shoulders are right over wrists. 
So option, stay here, or if you feel comfortable and you want to go for it, add in a slow mountain climber. So knee to elbow. If you feel comfortable, add that in. Otherwise, work on stabilizing in this plank right here. Again, if you need to, you can always drop your knees. Otherwise, try to challenge yourself. Go for it. Try these slow mountain climbers. Three, two, and one quick break. Shake it out. Right away, elbow plank. Here we go. Elbows right underneath shoulders. So, option, stay here. Keep working on that stabilizing. Otherwise, add in a plank jack, one side at a time. Little, little movement. If that feels a little bit too much, work right here. Always have that option. Drop your knees if you need to. Standing up for tall slides. Three, two, and one. Stand up nice and careful. Tall slides, 30 seconds. All right, so the final minute of this round, we're going to be doing a 60-second block of work. We're going to do four tall slides, four skater slides, four sprinter slides. So once across the board is one slide. So we're doing four of each. So this is your chance. If you want to start playing around with your RPE, you can for those four sprinter slides. All right, 60 seconds for each tall skater and sprinter in three, two, and one. So start with four tall. That's one, two, three, four. Then you're coming down nice and low for your skater. Keep that same tempo. Three, four. Then if you feel comfortable, maybe try going a little bit faster for those four sprinters. Back up, start from the top, four tall sides. So this is fun. Gives you a chance to play around with your own tempo, your own RPE. <sighs> Again, if you feel comfortable, maybe you go a little bit faster for these four skaters. 20 seconds. Nice and low. Last 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Carefully step off the board. We got a nice one minute break here, so towel off, grab some water. Good, you're gonna keep your booties on. This next part of class, we got a 14 minute round. We're gonna be back on the board the entire time. So again, catch your breath. Once you are ready and you're feeling good, step back on the board, do some nice and easy tall slides here. Again, if you're still catching your breath, toweling off, go for it. Take advantage of this full minute break. All right, so if you're not on the board yet, Come back onto the board, meet me right here in tall slides. 30 seconds right here. So again, if you're feeling more comfortable, you can add in your arms if that feels good. Beautiful, 10 seconds. We're gonna get into our skater slides. We're still keeping at that five out of 10 level. Here we go, three, two, and one. Nice and low hands on lower back, side to side. Feet touch and touch. Good, if you're looking down, make sure your knees aren't going past your toes. You should still be able to see your toes here. Get 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, quick, tall break here, 10 seconds. All right, meet me on the left side of the board. We're gonna be doing a right side tap to a tall slide. So follow me here. Right side of your board, tap, tall slide across. So we're tapping, squatting down, tapping the bumper, and tall. So we're warming up here to do our tap slides. Tap, get nice and low, back up, good. 10 seconds, so we're squatting down, back up tall. Tapping the bumper, opposite hand. Three, two, and one, good. A few tall slides here. Then we're gonna do that on the other side. Good, come over to the right, same thing. Left tap, rise up and tall slide, good. Tap and tall, good. So these should feel good, right? We're squatting nice and low, coming back up tall. Nice and easy tempo. Three, 
two, and one. 30 seconds, tall slides right here. So again, use this tall slide as a chance to catch your breath, slow it down if you need to. If you need to pause at a bumper, reset, totally fine. So we're gonna do all of that one more time. 10 seconds, we're back in our skater slides. In five, four, three, two, and one. Hands on your lower back, nice and low, side to side. Stay at that five out of 10 level. Good. So really focus on keeping shoulders back. We don't wanna be rounding our spine. Nice straight spine. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, take a few tall slides, stand up. Meet me on the left side of your board, right tap to tall. Here we go. Tap, tall slide back to the left. So we're reaching for the bumper with our left hand, back up. So landing nice and low, pressing up through our heels, standing. Beautiful. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take a few tall sides here. Then we're gonna get into the other side. So meet me on the right side of your board here, same thing. So left side tap, stand up to tall. So as you probably guessed, we're gonna be combining the taps now, coming up. Since now you're a pro at each side, we're gonna combine them. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. 15 seconds tall sides here. Then we got 30 seconds of taps each side. So again, if you need to, take a second, then pick up back up. 30 seconds of taps in three, two, and one. So both sides now, we're squatting down nice and low, tapping the bumper, opposite hand. Good. Breathing here, still at that five out of 10. We've got a quick break coming up after this. So keep moving, try not to stop. Last five, last three, two, and one. Nice job, carefully step off the board, grab some water, towel off. Do not take your booties off though, we're not quite done. All right, so catch your breath here. When you are ready, we're gonna meet back in a high plank. So again, just as a reminder, high plank, your hands can be on the bumper or off the bumper just in front of it. You want wrists right underneath your shoulders. All right, so if you're not already, meet me right here in your high plank. All right, so we're gonna bring our knees in and out. So a two count here, knees come in for two, out for two. If you're still feeling a little uneasy, unstable in your high plank, you can either hold it or keep it with the single leg right here. Otherwise, both knees come in and out. Last five, four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna hold this high plank, knees come in, drop your heels, drop your hips. Stand up, arms up overhead, squat back down, hands down, high plank. Again, knees come in, drop your heels, stand up, and back down, good. So if you've ever done a burpee before, this is kind of a bored version of a burpee. Not bored as, you know, not having fun, because we're having so much fun, right? We're going back to tall slides in five, four, three, two, and one tall slides right here, 30 seconds. So we got about three minutes of sliding right here. We're gonna be doing 30 seconds each of tall, skater, then taps. This whole time, I want you at that five out of 10 on your own RPE scale. Here we go, skaters in three, two, and one, hands on your lower back, bend your knees, nice and easy. So again, you're five out of 10 if you're like, I'm not really sure where that's at. I like to think of it as you could be doing this for half an hour, keeping up a nice, easy conversational pace, right? So we're not sprinting. 
And again, if that means your tempo is faster than me, slower than me, but you're at your own personal five out of 10, that's great. All right, taps here in three, two, and one. Tap side to side. So we're squatting down on each end, tapping the bumper with our opposite hand. So we don't want to be doing a toe touch, right? We're bending our knees, chest is open. So if you had something tattooed on your chest and you're looking in a mirror, you should be able to see it. Five seconds. Back to talls in three, two, and one, good. So we're using our tall slides as active rest, but if you need to, take a second, cut your breath, and then pick them back up. Fifteen seconds here. We're still gonna keep this at five out of 10. You're gonna have a chance to sprint at the very end, but we're keeping this like a marathon, right? We're pacing ourselves. Skater slides, three, two, and one. Hands on your lower back, nice and low. Tempo stays the same. Keeping the weight in your heels. Fifteen seconds. Side to side. Taps in five, four, three, two, one. Right into it. Taps, slides. So if you're feeling like your lower back is aching, you can always stand up, take a few tall slides, but also be aware of your core. Because usually if your lower back is really straining, you need to keep your core a little bit tighter. So just keeping your core engaged here, right? We're holding it tight, but breathing at the same time. Last five, three, two, and one. Take a few tall sides here. And then meet me back into your high plank. Again, we're gonna do 30 seconds of knee tucks right into 30 seconds of burpees. Here we go, three, two, and go. Knee tucks here, so in for two, out for two. Nice and easy tempo. Again, if you need to, work on holding your high plank here. Otherwise, you can always take it to that single leg. 15 seconds. Exhale as knees come in. Inhale as you lengthen. Looking good. Five, four, three, two, one. Right away into our burpees here. So squat down, slide your feet back into a high plank. Slide your feet in, drop your heels, stand up. So super important with these, that before you stand up, you drop your heels, drop your hips, then stand up. Take these nice and slow. 15 seconds. We've got a quick 15 second break coming up. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good quick break. Use this time, grab a towel, water, whatever you need to do. Beautiful. All right, when you're ready, back on your board, tall slides right here. So we got 30 seconds of tall slides. Then we're going to do the four slides of each, just like we did in that first round of class. This time it's going to be four tall slides, four skater, four taps. Good. Again, you can use this chance to play around with your own tempo. So for those taps, if you feel comfortable going a little bit faster, go for it. All right, so four of each, four tall, four skater, four taps in three, two, and one. So once you cross the board, it's one slide. So that's one, two, three, four. Then we're nice and low, skaters for four, two, three, four, taps for four, three, and four. Then back up to tall, just repeating that. So this is nice. You can kind of get lost in this minute here, go at your own tempo. Again, if you feel comfortable pushing a little bit faster for these four taps, go for it. 20 seconds.
Looking so good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. 30 second tall slides, then we're gonna do that again. So 30 seconds, active rest if you need to. Take a second, maybe you grab some water, towel, whatever you gotta do. If you can, try to keep doing these tall slides as a nice active recovery. 10 seconds. So we're doing that again, 60 seconds, four of each. In five, four, three, two, and one. Four tall slides. Right into four skater slides. One, two, three, four, right away, four taps. Back up for tall. So if you didn't last time, maybe this round, you try going a little bit faster for your tap slides. Challenge yourself, see if you can do it. You won't know unless you try, right? Then back up after your taps. 15 seconds. Last 10. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Quick break. Then we've got our final two minutes of class. So grab some water. All right, step back on the board. Tall slides here. Final two minutes starts right now. We got 30 seconds of tall slides, 30 seconds of sprinter slides. These sprinter slides, feel free to give it all your 10 out of 10 on your RPE scale. If you're still getting the lay of the board here, go at your own pace, whatever you're comfortable at, whatever's your 10 out of 10 level. All right, first of two sprints, 30 seconds. In three, two, and one. Nice and low, using your arms here. Breathing here, staying low. Again, this is your 10 out of 10. That doesn't mean you have to go at my tempo. If my tempo helps and it's your 10 out of 10, that's perfect. Here we go, stick with it. Five seconds, back to tall slides. Three, two, one, back to tall slides here. Final minute. All right, this final 30 second sprint, I want you going all out even faster than we just did. Catch your breath here. All right, 10 seconds. Our final push of this class. Four, three, two, and one. Nice and low, 30 seconds. That's it. Push yourself here. Try to surprise yourself at what you can do, how fast you can go. 15 seconds, halfway. We're going right there with you, eight. Last five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, take a few tall slides here. When you're ready, step off your board, sit down, booties can come off. Feel free to grab some water, towel off. So we're gonna do a quick stretch. So when you're ready sitting down, we're gonna bring your feet together and then roll your shoulders down and back. Feet together, you're gonna use your elbows here to just open up gently into a butterfly stretch and then come back up. So use your breath here. I like to exhale as I stretch and then inhale and then exhale and inhale. Good, so stretch your legs out in front of you. Bring your left foot over your right quad, and then looking over your left shoulder here. Again, use your breath. I like to inhale, and then exhale, so I can get a little bit deeper into the stretch. Good, take that to the other side. Looking over our right shoulder this time. Inhale, exhale. Nice job, standing up here. Standing quad stretch, so working on our balance here. If you're still working on balance, make sure you have a wall or something to balance on. Right foot back into quad. Make sure knees are together, hips are forward. Beautiful, shake it out. Other side here. Again, knees together, hips forward. Awesome job. 
Let's take one final breath all together. Inhale, bring your hands up. And exhale, release. Awesome job, you guys. Please take more of our beginner classes if this is your first time. I'll see you guys next time.